you! So today I'm going to be reacting to the Dragon Ball Super Movie Broly. It's a long word! So basically the second trailer of the Dragon Ball Super Movie coming out, which is about Broly. Um, I don't know if I reacted, I probably talked about it, maybe? Um, but hey, let's jump into this video and, and let's review it. Serve my son Frieza and obey his every command. How is Kakarot? Is he still in the nursing capsule? My boy, you bring honor to our name. The latent battle power within you is astonishing. You plan to put Broly in a pod and send him to a remote planet? I'll raise him to be a mighty warrior, and one day I will have my revenge! I don't think we can afford to wait. Freeze is up to something, I'm sure of it. It's a perfect plan to get rid of the Saiyans, planet and all. Wouldn't you agree? You do what it takes to survive. Hmm, okay. Hmm. Hmm. For this, I need a sip of tea. Okay. So, well, looking at the trailer, it looks nice, it looks pretty, but it feels like this is completely retconning a lot of the kind of official like film. So like Bardock and the 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 death of or well, the destruction of, of planet Vegeta, it feels like this is a massive kind of retcon. Now, I, I get very confused on this one, so hopefully you, you guys will be able to let me know down below in the comments. I've always been led to believe that every single movie, um, bar the specials, which does the history of Trunks as well as uh, Bardock, the father of Goku, and I'm guessing the kind of one that was on one of the games where Bardock goes back in time. Um, all those were kind of of the official. They are 100% set, concrete, bam, they are in it. So anything like, say, uh, Lord Slug or um, Cooler's Revenge or you know, Metal Cooler, anything like that, um, including like Resurrection of F and uh, Battle of the Gods, those were all in a separate universe, you know, a different version. So I was okay with this. It feels like Toriyama has literally just gone, do you know what, I've forgotten all about this, and this is the new story, this is what's happening. And, you know, I know that he likes Bardock from what I've heard, and he really likes Freezer. so... I kind of thought that they would kind of leave it a lot, they wouldn't kind of go back and kind of tamper with it. Now, I have to admit, seeing Freezer naked is not something I wanted to see, or I kind of generally thought that his armor, like, that is his skin, and it kind of, like, grows on him, so effectively this is, like, the younger version. But then when I'm seeing him blowing up a planet, I'm guessing it is Planet Vegeta, that he still looks the same as what he does. So it looks like all this armor that he has put on is, is something completely different. Um, and you generally think, now, if Toriyama has forgotten about this, I thought that he would have at least gone back and gone, have I done this story? You know, I want to bring a new take on Broly, so, you know, does that mean I've... I've completely gone back and just got rid of those things this is officially as canon now i always uh, i really like the art style for this one uh, mainly because it actually looks kind of new and different and I, I i generally enjoy it um i don't know i it's very kind of weird because i'm very used to bardock um the father of goku as well as the history of trunks them being officially canon and actually not being able to kind of go against anything um seeing this sort of thing of uh, seeing goku's mum as well that was kind of nice so I'm, I'm wondering how they're going to implement that i think that's dragon ball minus or something like that there was a, a, a manga done by someone else that was actually kind of introduced them so that's going to be interesting um but also the the how saiyans are created as well um i generally thought it was a normal thing of what 
what happens with Saiyans, a mummy Saiyan and a daddy Saiyan. They love each other very much. Um, um, but them creating in the lab, because now it just feels like if they're born in a lab, does that mean that they could put any superpower in there? Or does it mean that you're gonna see someone slip on a console and be like, oh no, I've kind of made Goku's power invincible. You know, Vegeta's as well, and Broly is off to scale, you know. Is that it, or is it just done as that they take the gene samples and then they make them and it's like, oh, well, let's see what happens here. Um, Ginyu Force seeing it, it's okay. I, I kind of enjoyed that. Um, seeing Frieza and his dad again was very kind of like, oh, you know, could no one actually go against Frieza? Are we going to see at the very beginning Frieza showing off his power level? So you got like one saying, I can't take this, Saiyans are free, and then rushes and then just absolutely gets annihilated. Because I don't think the Saiyans would allow someone to come onto their planet and go, I'm taking over, this is now my planet. You know, so I'm kind of thinking that you're going to see a battle. Maybe Bardock or King Vegeta is going to go straight for Freezer or King Cold. And then that's what you're going to see. I think that would be kind of cool. Um, also, the whole kind of Superman type thing where you send Goku off to another planet where he can actually see his parents. Kind of, I know obviously he's probably taken from Superman maybe from original or, you know, it was something kind of implemented. Uh, but it kind of reminded me of the same thing of like in Supergirl um, as well as Superman, um, you know, the CW shows. Although there's not a Superman CW show, but Supergirl, I highly recommend it. Um, my thoughts on this, I, I'm excited to kind of see it in January. I think that as soon, I'm guessing it's only going to be one place in, in, in the UK uh, up here, and it's going to be Liverpool, which I'm happy to go to. I kind of really want to see it. I'm hoping that maybe a few other places may get it. I think that would be kind of awesome. Um, so yeah, I, my kind of take on it is there's a lot to kind of go through and analyze and actually kind of figure it out. Um, I generally would have liked to have been surprised. So I know obviously as it gets closer and closer, seeing the trailers drop, so there's probably gonna be a third one, there's gonna be pictures leaked. I don't know what the, the runtime for this one is at the moment, but I generally think that it's gonna be over an hour, I hope, um, and you're gonna see quite a lot within that hour. Um, I just really hope they don't do the kind of it goes from being really quick, so you have all the story going on, and then the fight scene is like five minutes and it's over. Um, I generally would hate that. I would rather see kind of half and half. So I kind of really see half of it telling the backstory of how Frieza lands on planet Vegeta, um, and then how later on it's just Broly versus uh, Goku and Vegeta. I think that would be kind of really nice. Um, again, my reaction, it, it, it's, it's kind of, uh, because, I don't mind stories that progress, so I wouldn't have minded seeing how um, Frieza came onto Planet Vegeta and then that's it. And then obviously it then goes into the kind of next step of him destroying it, Bardock going back in time, that sort of thing. I would have liked to have seen that go into it, but then seeing obviously Broly and that, I don't particularly want a retelling of those things. And I find that uh, Toriyama kind of likes to retell a lot of stuff. Um, so yeah, and I'm hoping that when Dragon Ball Super comes out, because apparently in uh, 2019, Dragon Ball Super has got some amazing stuff. I really don't want them to retell this story uh, because it just feels a bit meh. If you weren't doing this film and then it was going straight into, hey, in 2019, this is what you're going to get. Broly is officially coming into the Dragon Ball Super universe. It's going to be 100% uh, accurate. And then telling that story, I think that would be really cool. But... I don't want to have to miss like say 25 episodes because I've just seen the film. It's exactly like the arc. I, I kind of did that. I, I skipped a lot of Dragon Ball Super um, at the very beginning until it came up to Goku Black because hey, I've just watched the films. Why do I need a retelling? Um, so yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on it. Um, it's a very difficult one. I think it, it, it's a very interesting one at least. And I'm hoping that we're going to get a very decent story from it. Um, if not, I'm going to be kind of disappointed. But I do love the animation style. So hopefully that carries on into Super. I, I would like that to be the next one so we can have it. One thing that I'm I'm kind of 
thinking about is when looking at this trailer again, um, is the way that Bardock is with uh, Jine, um, his, or Goku's mom. Um, because basically in uh, the first film, he was very kind of cold, like, I don't care about my son, you know, there he is, oh, he's a weakling. But the way that you see in this sort of trailer is that, you know, he's caring, he's like, oh, there goes my son, oh, you know, there's Goku when he's a little boy. Um, but then also doesn't mean, I thought Goku was slight, uh, slightly younger than Vegeta. So having them at the kind of same age or Saiyan age, <laughs> um, it, it's kind of a weird one because now it puts them on, on the sort of age limit, um, it's like the same, which I kind of like the thought now thinking about it, like Vegeta being older than Goku. Um, yeah, but it also seems like each one compared to where, like going back to Broly, you see the scene of him kind of eating an egg or something. I generally thought it was honey. Um, I don't know why, um, but it just feels like with that, he it's more sympathetic. You're going to see kind of a kinder side to Broly, um, but it also shows that maybe he's just a savage and just going to go and kill everybody. Uh, maybe that's it. Maybe he just killed an entire family um, and ate the eggs. Maybe, or maybe he just found an egg and ate it. So yeah, I think that's that, that's kind of the main thing. Um, if you guys want me to do a kind of a proper breakdown, I will sit down and analyze it frame by frame and we can see what it is. Um, but so far, um, I'm excited, but again, the first trailer I was very kind of okay with. I think like, as I said before briefly, cause this video is a little bit too long. Um, is I was kind of, I, I hate the Brawly films. I really, really do. Um, I find them very generically boring. The first one, it's just like Brawly, if he had a proper mindset, I think he would have been awesome. But I generally kind of really wish that, you know, he was a lot better in the films. And maybe this film is going to redeem it. That he's not just going to be the Kakarot, Kakarot, Kakarot. And then that's it. You know, it's instantly just going to be a simple thing. It, it, it's not going to be kind of like, oh, I hate Google, I hate Kakarot. And that's it. So I'm hoping that he's got a proper backstory. Um, yeah, I just want him to have a proper interaction with it. I, I can understand if he goes into that brute mode, but I kind of want him to sass Goku. I want him to sass Vegeta. But also one thing is like, I kind of really wanted Goku and Vegeta to be like, oh, hey, you're that person. I don't know who you are. But now it's going to be like, oh, hey, Brawly, guess, I guess you... I uh, guess who's got a power level now? You were a weakling when you were a kid or something. Or, huh, you're not against me. Damn it, Vegeta. Don't antagonize him. Or something like that. I, I can see that happening a little bit. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens in January when it's released in English. But knowing that, through of December when it comes out, going to have to try and avoid a lot of different things. Dear God. It's going to be fun. So Rangers, your question of the day is, what do you think about this? Do you like the trailer so far? Are you ha are you happy with it? Uh, what do you want to happen? Do you think that I'm right or do you think I'm wrong? Let me know down below in those comments because interaction is, is awesome. And if you want to hit that like button, that will also kind of like boost the channel and also make sure that you hit the bell so you'll be notified for more videos. I've got a lot coming out over the next couple of months. Anyway, so yeah, if you want to also help out the channel, why not consider subscribing? It's very weird not saying my normal stuff, so I thought I would try something a little bit different. But anyway, Rangers, you know, there we go. So, oh uh, god, uh, I'm all out and ends. <laughs> Normally, it, it's that set, you know, like, favorite, comment, and consider subscribing. Check out all the other videos on the channel. And as always, Rangers, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a bit.